Excess triangulation on the edges of surface models can be quite time consuming to clean up, but with the new boundary retraction and filter by triangle codes found in Surface Manager, most of the hard work can now be done automatically. Now in this particular project we have a model builder model and typically what we'd expect users to do is go and use the boundary retraction option within model builder. However, you don't need to use it within Model Builder because it can now be applied to all civil site design surfaces. So have a look in the Surface Manager here. We've got the Inputs tab, Boundaries tab, and down the bottom we've got Boundary Retraction. The way that Boundary Retraction works is it looks for triangles of a nominated length and aims to trim those out from the outside of your model working inwards. So we'll have a look at this. We'll try the Boundary Retraction, leave it at 30, click build surface and you can see we've removed a high proportion of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to a very small number uh, aiming for maybe around five to see what we get. Now due to the sampling of my string here you can see that I've used five as a sample length which means that this part of the string has been removed. So we're going to set that to say six. It's important you remember this value so that if you do add content into your surface that happens to have triangles that are greater than six that are required you'll need to come in and adjust this value. So we've removed a fair amount of the triangulation, however there is some excess triangulation littered around the edges here which we would also want to get rid of. Traditionally we would recommend that you go to the editing tab and use the delete edge. Now what we're going to do is head back to the boundaries tab and we're going to use the filter by triangle code. So a lot of these triangles that are through this model here are connected between the back of uh, the curb of this particular string to the back of the curb of this particular string. And what's happening is that the codes from those particular strings are defining each corner of the triangle. And what we can do is filter those triangles out based on that code combination. So this particular function requires codes being applied to triangles, which means this will only work on your model builder models, your subgrade models, and your pasted surfaces. Your pasted surfaces would need to have the apply codes to triangles box checked on to ensure that those codes are being transferred through to the triangles of the pasted surface. So to do this, you click on the apply filter by triangles, pick triangle, and then simply come in and click within a particular triangle that you want to remove. And you can see that that will get listed down here. Now there are going to be different combinations of LBK and RBK. So we'll click build surface to first of all see that result. Yes, we got a few removed and then we'll come in and pick triangle again. We get another code combination click build surface. So we can keep clicking through here knowing that as soon as we add anything to our model those particular triangles will be removed. Now we've done a pretty good job here we'll just maybe go and clean these up here. Pick triangle, click on build surface. Typically for uh, roads that have got batter codes the batter code is probably the main one that you'll find needs removing but once you've set this up and you're happy with it you can either set as default meaning that every time you build a surface with civil site design these values are coming in or you can save the style and load it in using these buttons down here for different projects. So you can have different code combinations or different types of jobs, such as this one. This maybe wouldn't be suitable for something such as a, a rural road or something along those lines because I'm not likely to just be trimming those codes. I'd be likely to be trimming maybe, for example, the batter code, in which case I would save a style with batter codes being applied and then load that in on another project.